northwest of Prospect, there's Highway 138 and that's the Rogue Umpqua Scenic Byway. And it's also known as the Highway of the Waterfalls. Today, we're gonna go see how many waterfalls we can explore in one day. The first waterfall on the list is Clear Waterfalls and it's right here behind me. The trail is really short, you just park in the parking lot and it's like literally 100 feet, maybe. It's awesome, it's really a pretty waterfall. Uh, today there's a big fire just west of here, so it's created this big fog cloud layer. So for pictures it's perfect, I'm going to take a couple of pictures here and see what we can get. This water is so clear because it's filtered through lava rock and just above the falls is Clearwater Creek and you can see how clear and how beautiful this water is. Next one down the list is White Horse Falls. Yeah, White Horse Falls and it's right here is a parking lot, picnic area and a viewing platform so there's not a lot of walking to do. This next waterfall is Watson Falls. And I read somewhere that it's the third tallest waterfall here in Oregon. Uh, I don't know if it's true or not, I'll confirm. The trail is really pretty, I've done it many times before, but it's really steep uphill. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you a little bit more of the trail. This part behind me looks like at some point it was a river. It goes to show that climate change has been going on for a very long time. The next waterfall on the list is Tokiri Falls. It's a beautiful waterfall and the trail is amazing. I made a, a full video a long time ago, so I'm gonna put that link here if you wanna see that one too. This highway was closed uh, last week or just actually not too long ago because of the fire that was here and it went across the highway, the Jack Fire. And you can still see like right here behind me a tree with flames in it. I'm gonna put the telephoto lens to show you. It's very sad to drive by and see all this beautiful forest burnt. Some trees survived, some didn't. 
and yes, yeah, some fires are natural, lightning or lightning strikes or stuff like that. Others are mistakes and other ones are set on purpose. So it's just kind of sad to see the whole forest going flames like this. It's so sad to see the damage that these wildfires do to an environment. This whole hillside and the mountains is completely destroyed. But anyway, here at the uh, Steamboat Inn, they have this beautiful view in the backyard. And you can come in and have lunch and it is beautiful. Look at this. This is where Fall Creek Falls uh, would be. The fires that damaged the trails, so they had the road closed, so we can't hike there. I'm pretty sure I got pictures from last year. I came up here and hiked the trails. I don't have any video, but I'm pretty sure I got pictures. I'm gonna pop a couple of those up here on the screen for you. Uh, I really wanted to hit all the waterfalls, but sometimes you just can't do what you wanna do. <laughs> other, other factors involved, like fire that's out of my control, and we're just gonna see what else we can find around here. I came to see the only place in the world where rivers collide, but uh, <laughs> because of the drought and the dry weather, the rivers are very low, so there's no action. <laughs> I'll have to come back in the spring. So even though this behind me is not a waterfall, it's a really pretty section here of the Umpqua. This is the Narrows White Side, it's just a viewpoint to come and look at the river. Uh, the water's kind of low right now, but I bet in the spring it's really, really pretty. Since we didn't get to see three of the waterfalls, I decided to stop at one more. It's a much longer hike. It's four miles round trip at Limola Falls. I've never been to it, so I don't know what to expect. I hear that it's really pretty and very big waterfall. I don't know what it's going to look like right now with midsummer, but we'll see what we find. I've never been here before and I don't know what to expect. I was checking out my All Trails app and it said the trail was like two miles long. When I put the directions on Google Maps, it brought me on the wrong side of the river and about three quarters of the way up. <laughs> so I read that there's two trails, an upper and a lower trail. I don't know when I, where I'm gonna go. This was marked, so I'm just gonna keep going and see what I find. getting close to the river here but I've been walking downhill for a very long time <laughs> which means it's gonna be a long time before I get back to the Jeep what a beautiful waterfall I'm glad I got lost and I followed Google Maps and it brought me to the wrong trail because this is amazing I wanted to fly the drone but because I'm in a canyon the GPS signal is very weak and I couldn't take off. Uh, I probably could, but I was afraid I was going to lose another drone and I don't want to do that again. 
But this is a great place to end this video with. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun making it and traveling. I know we missed three waterfalls. What are you gonna do? Things change, things happen. But this is gorgeous. So thank you very much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And we'll see you next Sunday. Bye.